So PowerPoint video is, is actually super easy to use. What you do, step one is you narrate the PowerPoint. You adjust if you are using um, and if you're using inset video, which I'm going to show you how to do. Yeah, you know, after you've after you've narrated it, you adjust where your inset video is going to be. You export it to a PowerPoint file. Ex export your PowerPoint into a video file because you know you you create a narrate port. PowerPoint, and then host that somewhere like YouTube and share the link with uh, your students. It is that simple. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of steps here. So first of all, I've created a little demo video here. I took the uh, that microphone uh, section of the presentation and split that off to do a little demo with that to record a PowerPoint. First, obviously, you take your PowerPoint that you've already made. You know, maybe if you want, add some extra animations to it if you like, but take an existing PowerPoint you've made. And then you're going to narrate it. Narrate it means you're going to add a voiceover to it that corresponds with your animations. So you do that by first clicking on the slideshow menu at the top of your, at the top of your screen. And then you're going to click on record slideshow. Once you've done that, it's going to pull up this screen here. And you'll see that there's a record button here in the top left. But if you look down here in the bottom right, these are two options that actually, um, it actually defaults to having this uh, video turned on. If you notice there's a microphone icon there, you're going to want to make sure that that is on, doesn't have the, the cross through to make sure the microphone is activated. And this camcorder icon controls whether or not the camera is turned on on your computer. I recommend you go ahead and make sure that both of those are turned on. Now, if you don't like, don't worry if you don't like where this um, inset is. It by default goes in this corner, this inset video. But that's actually very easy for us to move. So that's easy for us. That's easy for us to fix. So what you do is you click the record button. It gives you a countdown. And then you go ahead and you narrate it. You, you talk through your PowerPoint the same way you would if you were presenting it in class. So you talk through your PowerPoint, you narrate the PowerPoint, and you use your mouse or your keyboard to click through the slides the same way that you would do it in class. Uh, when you get to the end, it's, it, it goes to a black screen and stops. Uh, and then from there, from there you get, have a chance to edit it. And then I am going to actually going to pull, back, pull out the, the actual PowerPoint here for the live demo. So this is what it looks like after you have um, after you have inserted your narration. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit play on the PowerPoint so we can hear it. Hey kids, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about some of the microphone options you have when recording videos. Okay, so now this is where you get to decide what to do with these little inset videos here. Now. What you can do, let me go ahead and adjust the screen a little bit here. Actually, it's on this one. Now, what you can do with this inset video, so like, let's say over here, maybe I don't want to have my face on, on this particular part. That's okay. However, very, very important, do not delete this picture. If you delete it, it also deletes the audio. So if you delete the video, you delete the picture that has your video in it, it also deletes the audio. So don't do that. But if you don't want the video on the page, all you need to do is slide it off of the slide. So it's still there, it still exists, but it just will not be visible when you convert uh, when you convert this into video form. So it'll be it's still there, but you won't be seeing your face. Okay? The audio is still there. It's just off of the screen. But you can also, you don't have to have it down here in this corner. Um, in fact, uh, and you can also make it bigger. That's something I had to, I had to kind of learn. Um, so this one here, well, maybe I want to, uh, maybe I want to go ahead and put my video here right on the computer screen. Okay, I can do that there. I can resize it. I can reposition it. I can change the shape. Um, I could put it at an angle if I want. That'd be kind of silly, I guess. But th these are things that you can do. And say this one over here. Uh, let's see, let me, I'll resize, I'll make that bigger, but I can also, by the way, if you click on format, you can also change, change what it looks like. Uh, maybe I want to make this one, say, round. Okay? Um, these are all things, these are all things that you can do to manipulate your video, manipulate your, um, uh, manipulate the inset video. So, 
again, you've recorded this already. So this is what we call a narrated PowerPoint. It's still in PowerPoint format, but it kind of behaves like a video. If I go to present this slide here, now my biggest recommendation, the best option for most people is going to be this right here. This is a USB. Okay. Um, but it's still in PowerPoint form. To make this a video, make it a video, we'll need to export it. So we click on File, click on the File menu over here. We're going to click on Export. We have these export options here. We're going to choose the one that says Create a Video. Over here, you're going to want to make sure now, I recommend to do either Full HD or 720p. Don't go with Ultra HD 4K. That, that generates this massive video file, and it takes forever for, a, for your school-issued laptop to process that. So I, I stick with Full HD. You click the Create a Video button here. It's going to ask you to give it a name. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say PowerPoint Demo Video. It's going to ask you to give it a name. And I'm also going to save that to... Can I save it to my desktop? I'm also going to save that to my desktop because that saves a little faster there. Now, when you click Save, it's not done yet. This is an important step. Once you click Save, if you look down here at the bottom, it says Creating PowerPoint Video, and this little scroll bar is going across there. Right now, this computer is rendering the video. It's turning this PowerPoint into a video, and it's going to take a couple minutes to do that. The longer it is, the longer it's going to take. Uh, in this case, it's going to take about, I don't know, a minute or two. Don't walk away. Do not turn off the PowerPoint until it is done. Until it's done. We're used to the idea of clicking the Save button. Not saved, it's done. I can close up PowerPoint now. I've had a lot of students make student-made videos, and they, uh, they do exactly that. And then they don't understand why the video they created is, is one second long and is empty. Um, you have to wait for it to, to render there. And it's going to do that in just a minute. So um, hopefully you had a chance to see that uh, creating videos in PowerPoint is super, super easy. And I encourage you. I encourage you to, to create videos for your students. As far as I'm concerned, that is the best way. That is the best way that we can bridge this gap between the content that we teach in person in class and the world of digital learning that we that I believe is is going to be with us. Uh, that inevitably is going to be with us for for a while.